What's up, guys? Welcome to My Living Legacy. Uh, in this episode, uh, we're going to come at you with something a little bit different. Um, so blessed to work around some incredible people uh, here at our office in Greenville, South Carolina. And one of those people is Amanda McAbee. She is our Director of Business Affairs. And we recently had a boot camp training uh, a couple weekends ago. And she gave a speech in the very beginning as kind of a intro to the training, get really getting people's mindset uh, in the right uh, frame of mind to be able to absorb as much information as possible and get the most out of that training. I thought she absolutely just nailed this speech. And so I wanted you guys to hear that. I think you're going to learn a lot from it. You're going to be able to take something from it that you can actually go implement in your daily life. And uh, she talks about this acronym of DARE, and you'll find out what that means. But with that being said, check out Amanda McAbee in this episode of My Living Legacy. You saw the daily bread. Here's the new recipe. You can expect to see more transparency. 5,006 figure earners is success to me. Giving the best of me. My Living Legacy. Tony Robbins has this quote that I think is phenomenal. It says, when you are grateful, fear disappears and abundance appears. So like right now, I'm feeling a little nervous just because talking in front of people, right? It makes you a little bit nervous. But when I just think for a minute and I just pause, oh, and I just think of like all of you guys and, and I can look at each of you individually and I can think like, oh my gosh, where are you gonna be in one year? Or I look at you and I think, are you gonna be the next Philip standing here, you know, next year at the, as the rookie of the year? Like, I get full of gratitude and excitement of, of where we're all gonna be a year from now and that fear just kind of like dissipates away, right? So gratitude is such a key thing. I want us all to enter into gratitude just for a moment. So turn to the person next to you and tell three things you're, you're thankful for. Three things that you are super grateful for this morning. So let's, let's, move, let's move forward and, and some of you are like, man, I'm glad you brushed your teeth, right? Oh, and then you had coffee though. Um, so being, being grateful, I just want to share, when I think about getting the most out of training, it, it's, it's the seeds you're going to get today that are going to be planted that are going to grow. So I went to a training about nine months ago with uh, Joseph, my, my boss, and it was interesting because... Um, we were at a, a sales training and there was the guy that was up there and he was talking about there's this picture of a woman that either looks like an old witch or looks like a beautiful woman how many of you guys have seen that picture if you have not seen that picture google it at lunch okay just put old ugly woman young young pretty woman and it'll it'll pop up so he said he said uh how many of you guys see the old woman and i raised my hand and then he said how many of you see the young woman joseph raised his hand and I'm like, Joseph is totally old woman, look. And then the guy says, if you see the old woman, you probably have a tendency to think negative. And I was like, oh, like so true. Because I always have been the person that I, I look at what I did and I think, oh, that's not good enough. What could I have done better? I know Omar, we were talking, where are you? And he's like, I did this first appointment. It was my first practice appointment. I made two sales on it, got some ERSs. And I left thinking, man, I should have done this better and this better. And his wife's like, you just made your first sale. What are you talking about, right? So I nine months ago, I did something. And I, this is, this is going to be my challenge to all of us today. But I did something, and this is my dare. So if you're going to take notes, and, and I might hopefully share some small thing that might move your life forward, I'm going to give you a dare. And the D is to decide. Okay, write down that, decide, is the, the D in dare. And this is what I decided that day. I decided I'm not gonna be a person that thinks negative anymore. My whole life up to that point had, had created this way of thinking that I just said, I don't wanna be like this anymore. So I decided to every day wake up and be thankful and write down in a gratitude journal three things I'm thankful for. And I'm gonna be honest with you, for the first few days, I'm like writing the same stuff. 
I'm like, gosh, come on, Amanda, you gotta like work up some more. Your brain's gotta move. And now I literally could go on and on and on. And at night I do the same thing. So decide, decide what it is in your life that you need to move into a different direction to be the person you wanna be. Who knows, who, did anyone take Latin in high school? Do we have any Latin people? Decide, okay, I didn't either, but I think, I think words are fascinating. So decide, what does side mean? What's that root? Homicide, suicide, what's side? To cut off. To decide something is to literally cut off any other option. So if you're gonna decide your business is going to grow or double, make that decision and cut off any other option. I love that. I love the thought of, of making a decision and it being done. Joseph, when he talked about commitment, what are you committed to? You have to first decide what you're gonna be committed to. Is it the ERS? Are you gonna decide that you're going to absolutely implement the ERS and you're gonna ask for people to call while you're there at the appointment so you can be booking up your, your following appointments? Are you gonna decide to be uncomfortable because that's not what you're used to, but, but you know that's gonna propel your business forward? Maybe it's not where your business is gonna be, maybe it's who are you going to be? Who are you gonna be one year from now? Every year, I'm, I'm kind of a nerd, but I have been taking the last day of the year and writing out who I'm gonna be that next year. So I write it as if I'm already in it. So if you looked at my journal, last year, December 31st, 2017, we're in 2018, right? 2017, I wrote as if it was December 31st, 2018. And I, because I have a, a faith in God, I started it off with, I thank you God that. And I just wrote out all the things that I saw that were gonna happen this year. And I've been reading that periodically all throughout the year. And what is absolutely mind blowing is almost everything to a T that I wrote down has happened this year. Almost everything. Brett, I think wherever you are, um, you mentioned about living backwards, like taking and putting, you know, what it is that you want and then breaking it back down and bringing it backwards. It's such a powerful, powerful thing. So who do you want to become? Decide that. As you're going through, uh, as you were going through this training, there's going to be things you hear, and I'm going to challenge you, star those big things that you hear that are like this. This right here is going to move my business forward. Because really, you're going to forget 90% of what you hear today. But if you can, you'll have moments throughout today where something is said, put a big star and find those one to three things that you're going to actually you know, take and move forward. I wanted to mention with this decision, Tyler Harris, who's one of the mentors in my life, he, we are big proponents of coaching. How many of you guys have ever had a coach in your life? Sports, whatever, right? We've all had coaches. Well, what's powerful about coaches, there's, a, there's an accountability piece that happens, but there's also something where you have to really decide what you want to be able to talk about it with a coach, right? I think that's almost where more of the power lies. Well. I know Mike, Mike Schloss on his website, he says um, there's a book that he recommends, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. How many of you guys have read it? Okay, if you have not read that book, I'm gonna challenge every one of you as you're like one thing takeaway, read that book, read that book. I just listened to it on the way to Mexico. Um, I'd read it, but I listened to it and oh man, there was something I had missed that I didn't get in the book. He said, take 10% of your income and invest it into yourself. I want you to imagine that. 10% is a pretty hefty number, no matter at what level you're at. If you were to take 10% and invest it into yourself, you're all investing in yourself being here. You took time, that's investment. But you took money to get here, right? Coming to these boot camps is investment. Tyler spent $25,000 on one coach last year. Tyler, did that level you up? It transformed your, your marriage. I mean, it transformed your life. $25,000 for a coach. Could you invest, if you, if you want, I know somebody said something about their health yesterday, that they wanted to move their health forward. Invest in that personal trainer. Make whatever that decision that you need. The A for DARE is awareness, awareness. Be aware as we go through training, what's holding you back? Awareness, be aware what's holding you back. 
Some of you guys might hear about this door knocking thing and you might have thought, oh, I am not doing that. That is too uncomfortable. I am not doing that. Well, you know what? Your mind is set up to keep you safe and to keep you comfortable. But if you want to grow your business, you're going to have to do uncomfortable things. Discomfort is the space of growth, right? If you're not, discom if you're not uncomfortable, you're not growing, period. I mean, it is like the golden rule of growth. Joseph Caldwell goes to the extreme about growth. I mean, talk to him at lunch. You'll have some interesting conversations. He gets into an ice bath pool in the middle of winter to make himself uncomfortable so he can stay like moving his body into new levels of growth. So be just find those places to be uncomfortable. If it's door knocking, I challenge you Saturday, go and knock on those doors, right? Okay, so awareness, just think about what, what your limiting beliefs are as we go through training and literally decide to kill those beliefs. Kill the limiting beliefs and be aware when they start popping up. The R is for reprogram. Reprogram your mind. Reprogram. That is where I really truly believe that our mind is the second most powerful thing next to God himself. I think he like breathed into us and was like, here's my creative power and it's right there within you. And all of us walk around like these small people, like we don't have any power to do anything. And it is such a lie. We are so powerful. Our mind is so absolutely like beautiful. And you have the power to create whatever it is you want. I love the thought, if you can, if you can make five dollars and you can make ten, if you can make a thousand, you can make, you know, whatever. I know the first time I met Joseph, he actually told me how much he was gonna make a minute. A minute. That's what he told me. And I was like, oh my gosh, who have I started working for? This guy is like lunatic crazy. And then, because if you heard the amount, you'd think that. But then I started watching how the business was growing and growing and multiplying. And I thought, oh my gosh, I just have to start thinking bigger. I have to start changing my thinking and that's how we're gonna reprogram it. So reprogram your mind. And there's lots of ways to do that. I don't have time to, to share about it. Um, there's one nugget I'll tell you of, of a small micro habit that I've been doing. And I have a timer set every day at 7.30, 12.30 and 7.30 at night that tell me three words that I am. I chose three words. I am faithful, I am inspiring, and I am steadfast. Those were things I didn't believe about myself three months ago, but for the last three months, I've said that to myself every single day. Every single day, I see it and I believe it. I'm reprogramming what it is I want to say about myself, what it is that, that God says about me, right? I discovered that and I'm, I'm doing those micro habits to make it happen. The E is execute. Execute. So that's the last part of the E is to execute. This is the part where you simply have to do. So as we go through this today, those three things that you can execute, just put a big star by them. I'm going to execute this. I'm going to absolutely do this. I'm not going to be stopped by this. You have to desire it that much that you will do whatever it takes to get there. Do whatever it takes. So as we go through training, listen, listen to these, these, the different speakers and say, okay, what can I do? What can I implement that's gonna take my business to the next level? So thank you guys, you've been so gracious. Um, so thank you again, Mike, appreciate it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of My Living Legacy. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to go learn something right now after hearing that again. I uh, wanted to give a quick shout out uh, to three more people that have been following my content for some time now uh, that I extremely, extremely appreciate every time they comment, every time they send me a message. And these are those three people, Omar Fuentes, Hope Brooks, and Dan Smith. I appreciate the three of you so much. And uh, with that, guys, this is My Living Legacy. We'll see you next time.